what's up y'all creative house here back with another video and i am here to show you guys this little thing i made in substance designer see the reason why i made this texture is because i'm planning on making something for a character maybe even a short film so basically i'm gonna show you guys the steps i took to make this and the uh the overall project for the substance designer and i do plan on like putting it somewhere where it's you guys can get to or something i don't know maybe later this year or something that was going to compile everything so this is the image of the stuff that i use uh, i will zoom in later so to give you guys some like details i'll show you guys what you need to do to get the same thing so So this is how I got this. So we have, when I create a new substance, I always use this right here, this little template, cause it's just easiest. And I'm still a little new to it, to designer. And I have a ambulant occlusion here, normal and a base color and my blend files. So when I'm working on something, I always add a new blend file. This will always be my final blend. For the wrinkles here, I added a crystal, a blur, uh, HQ gate, grayscale, and some levels. So I'm gonna just uh, go over the basics. So here, the intensity I have set to Three point four is the intensity, and the crystal scale is at a two. So that's how I got the little wrinkles on the sheet. But for the main base, is how this is how I started. I added two a shape layer. This will be the edge detect right here, and this will be the the square the shape. So I added a square with a scale of zero point six. And two eight, I mean a a blur HQ gray scale with a blend. Uh, I didn't really need that blend. I just put it there just in case I wanted to add something else. And a tile sampler with a pattern input. This is a scale for it. The five five. Let's see. Scale zero point eight. And that's about it. And another blend file right here. So this is this edge detect right here. It's pretty important so I can get the little creases in the middle because I, I didn't want it to be without creases. I probably should change the color of the, the seams, but I don't know yet. I haven't really decided um, the final output. So this part right here, this is the seams, but I also created another one for the pattern color so that so it wouldn't be the colors wouldn't be crushing. It would fit the thing just right. So this is how this looks. Wait, so before we do the colors, I'm gonna go back down and this is the fabric texture. So they're ba basically just waveforms in a, like waveform one. They're both the same with the samples over here, all the stuff over here on the side. Another one, they duplicated the layers, used a 2D transform and rotated it 90 degrees like this. Back that up and then added a blend layer to blend this file. This crease to blend it with here with this pattern to ultimately blend everything together. So I'm using like a copy, copy. This blend file is a copy, copy. That's it. But the wrinkles. That is an overlay, so make sure you guys get that. The wrinkles part is an overlay for the uh, blend file. Pretty cool, pretty sexy, I like it. And then you got the blend here, another blend with the little nice little wrinkles. I like the wrinkles, I might do something else with wrinkles. It looks really nice. And I set the parameters up to where I can change the uh, parameters. Oh, it works. Okay. 
So this is the dirt, and these are the colors, right? Let's get into the colors. So up here is this pattern that I had mentioned earlier from over uh, a square pattern for the blanket. The reason why I did this like this was because the colors kept going over, right? So I added a edge detect. I crushed the, the size of the squares a little bit to bring them in closer. Yeah, this with the scale and the X and Y scale. Then I added an edge detect and a flood fill. So the flood fill is what helped me get these colors. So instead of like trying to do everything individually and making my life hard, I just decided to just work with the flood fill to color with a gradient map and another gradient map. Like this gradient map was to go down here underneath the uh uh, this is the white part is transparent so I use a, this gradient map to go underneath so the the scene wouldn't be white then I blend it together the next issue I mean the next thing was the dirt pattern I just use a cloud I did out at first I had it mixed in with the texture and it was giving me height and I didn't really like that all that great because when you see like different fabrics and stuff you don't see dirt creating height so I had to take that off. So instead of instead, I just moved it over as a color. So I use the clouds two levels, gradient map levels. And it doesn't really matter. The dirt really depends on how you want it to look. I didn't want too much on there. But this is I I uh blended the top pattern colors with a blend file and then I use these to create the dirt. I only reason I did this was because I didn't want it overpowering the whole texture like that's annoying and the gradient map is really just black and gray that's it and then you added it to the base color and this is what you get pretty sexy my normal I uh, turned up the intensity you gotta be real careful with this this height depth because it can really ruin your uh, texture from what I have learned I was like uh what is that but yeah, that's how I got this. So I'm basically what I plan on doing with this is adding, making a little cloak, like, you know, like I'll show you guys once I finish. This will all wrap up in the end, hopefully. This is like the first part to my idea that I hopefully can get to come out pretty good. So ultimately, this is how I really want it to turn out. Look at that. Like a little blanket type. So I just, uh, that little height map I was created from the texture, I just added a displace. And yeah, that's it. And so as I divided the plane a little bit, make it look a little more dimensional, you know? But yeah, but for right now, I uh, hope you guys subscribe. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you guys want like a sped up video of me doing this, I, I might do it. <laughs> it's... I see why I a lot of people have not done little tutorials on here because it's like we just randomize it. Like I, I was going completely random on here. I was not going to uh, just act like I knew what I was doing and then come back on and and do a tutorial. Not tutorial, like do it all over again. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't want to do it over again. So uh, I, I hope you guys see, I see you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button, hit the link, and uh, follow my socials. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully, I can have another video up for you guys. And peace.